what is cracking everybody you're back with mr burger and tonight i'm doing another bridge spam bridge deck spam. that's right i know i've covered a million of these but i'm telling you this one is really legit right now and you definitely want to try this one out before the balance changes hit because likeliness has it they're going to be nerfing a few cards here and there and freeze may be one of those cards and this deck really centers around the presence of that freeze and you'll be seeing that and i'll be talking about that a lot throughout this video because as you know if you're a fan of my channel i've covered a bunch of bridge spam decks already before so i've definitely covered the concepts behind bridge spam you know in other videos so if you want to take a closer look at one of those make sure to check out some of my more recent bridge spam videos um but other than that let's talk about this specific deck right here and how it's different and how it's going to be played so first thing that stands out is the freeze the freeze has been huge since the rework it's found itself in a whole lot of decks and it has a lot more utility now uh, you know just mostly because the damage that they gave it it just it has this whole new way that it can be used it can be combined and has synergy with you know cheap chip away damage things like zap or ice spirit you know or maybe even like arrows right and it just has the potential to have so much more utility than it did before and on top of all of that it's the only spell in the game right now that does as much damage to towers as it does to units i don't know if that was intentional by supercell or if they're planning to change that but we'll see what they decide to do once uh, you know they come with this next upcoming set of balance changes uh, so this deck, if you'll notice, it's the same one that was covered on CWA. I also found it on Royale API, which is where I get a lot of my decks for the videos that I uh, you know, do deck showcases of. So I just want to mention that because it just kind of boasts the legitimacy of this deck. You know, it just kind of tells us like this is a definitely a legit and powerful deck if I'm seeing it in not only... 12 win grand challenges tracked on Royale API, but then also covered on Clash with Ash, you know, which is definitely a legitimate and reputable source. And if you're here watching me on YouTube, you probably know who he is as well. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about the deck itself instead of, you know, just talking about like, hey, it's so great. Let's talk about why it's great. How do you play it? Um, what goes behind it? What are the concepts behind it? Why is that freeze so great in this deck? So it's definitely an aggressive deck. It's got your typical bridge spam cards. So you got the ram, you know, the battle ram. You could probably replace that with a uh, ram rider if you want to have a little fun. You got your bandit, and you got your ice golem. And these are all pretty staple cards that you see in almost every, if not all, bridge spam decks. And you've also got a few other cards in there that aren't necessarily as staple, but cards that you'll very often see in bridge spam decks. You know, you'll definitely find those in this deck as well. Now I call this particular replay the Battle of the Freezes. This is the Splashyard Freeze deck, or at least one very similar to the one that I covered not too long ago. Go ahead and check that one out if you're interested in seeing the deck that my opponent is playing right now and seeing a video of how I covered it. So anyway, those other cards that I mentioned that are you know pretty prevalent in a lot of bridge spam decks, but not necessarily in every single one, are uh, like the minions. You see those in a lot of bridge spam decks. Hunter, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but Hunter has found presence in a lot of bridge spam decks. You know, ever since there was one or two that coined it, he's definitely been in a lot of them since then. And then on top of all that, you've also got the poison. Now, there's a lot of bridge spam decks with a lot of different spells. Um, you know, there's one with lightning and all kinds of things like that. Or maybe, say, like, fireball, you know, something like that. Um, but poison seems to be one of those cards that is, like, a general spell for a lot of bridge spam decks. Now, as far as the barbarian barrel goes, that's just basically there for being prevalent in the current meta. You could definitely run like a log, which is run in more traditional bridge spam decks, or maybe even like a zap, or if you wanted to get really fancy, maybe a giant snowball, but I wouldn't really recommend that. The Barbarian Barrel works out really great though, and it's just a really good card. And on top of that, it's just another thing, another thing, excuse me, that gives you a solid unit on the ground, and you can use it slightly aggressively. You can use it, you know, at the bridge actually, even just as like a little mini tank, kind of like an ice golem to have in front of your, you know, battle ram or your uh, bandit and of course you can use it always to clear out swarms and you can use it to take out range support units like musketeers or wizards or things like that really well so that's why we have the barbarian barrel in there now let's get to what we want to talk about which is the freeze why is the freeze in there you know how do we use it what makes it so great in this deck well i mentioned just what makes it such a great card overall right now 
you know, like I said in the last set of balance changes, or was it the last set? It was a recent set, because they've been doing them so often I, I lose track at this point. But anyway, they gave it that damage effect, which it never had before. Uh, so what you want to do in this deck is you want to try to catch them off guard. I mean, that's just like a general rule for, you know, freeze, clone, um, heal, you know, all those kind of utility cards. You want to try to catch them off guard. It's kind of like a high risk, high reward, but freeze is a lot more reliable than some of those other cards, especially now that it has a little bit of damage. Because even if you miss, you get a little bit of chip damage off on their tower or on their units or whatever. I mean, even not if you completely whiff it, but if you like uh, miss the timing or maybe don't hit all their units, um, you know, and say that like you use it right after your units die, so it's a little bit too late, at least you get that little bit of chip damage. So try to catch them off guard. Maybe don't even use it until really late in the game, or possibly even as a finisher. I mean, you could hang on to it until double the elixir, and then you'll really catch them off guard, and you'll be able to take down a tower once you're in sudden death. Um, you know, and maybe not initially when you're in double elixir, but once you're in sudden death, rather. And then you'll be able to, you know, like I said, surprise them, and voila, you won the match, because they had no idea that you had freeze in your hands, or in your deck at all, until the very end of the match when you catch them off guard and it really counts because that's what you're going for it's just that one tower for the win right all right so let's see as i mentioned you have a lot of aggressive cards in this deck so the freeze just works really well with this with the aggressive cards in this deck and just with this overall archetype uh you know you can really catch them off guard really quickly and especially since you have so many aggressive cards you can do things like place a bunch of you know things at the bridge like the bandit and the battle ram and then just freeze whatever they might use to counter because they might slip up and use something a little bit too late or perhaps they might panic and maybe not use the best counter because you're being really aggressive and, you know occasionally they might not have the best thing in hand or they might not use the best placement or something like that and then you can really take advantage of that freeze with those really aggressive cards take down a, a tower super fast if you manage to set off a battle or excuse me send off a battle ram and then freeze whatever they use to counter it the battle ram is going to connect to the tower, assuming that you freeze the tower and whatever is countered. And then the barbarians, even if the you know Valkyrie or whatever is they're using to counter it is right on top of the tower, the barbarians will you know take a whack at it and finish it off. And uh, you know then they'll chip away at the tower. Plus the battle ram will have done damage to the tower. So it's just it works out really well uh, with this whole archetype and with a lot of the cards in this deck. Now you can also use freeze defensively. As I mentioned, it clears out swarm units, but mostly only the really low HP units, like skeletons, bats, I think even spear goblins, if I'm not mistaken. It'll kill these things with one shot. So if you're using it to like freeze even like a skeleton army, if you don't have a zap, you can freeze that. I know that's not super ideal because it's a three for four, but if you absolutely have to, you can use it that way. Now on top of all of this, it leaves room for like one or two, or maybe even more of your units, but even just one or two of your units to absolutely destroy their push. Because you use it defensively, you freeze everything that they've got, and then just like your hunter, or your bandit, or whatever, will just slowly but surely destroy their whole push. Because it's completely stuck there, and with the support of the princess tower, it'll just be absolutely decimated, uh, you know, by the princess tower and whatever you have to, you know protect against their push. So definitely consider using the freeze defensively. It's not only an offensive card, and a lot of professional players, if you watch them on like CWA and other YouTube channels, will talk about using the freeze defensively and how it has so much potential. It's no longer an offensive card. I mean, I guess it was always had did have defensive potential, but it has a lot more now with the uh, tweak that they gave it and just the current state of the meta and everything. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about opening moves real quick and card replacements, and then we will wrap it up and uh, call it a video. So for opening moves, sometimes I like to be a little bit aggressive and open up at the bridge, but as you know, I oftentimes like to cycle in the back, so I might cycle like a hunter in the back and see if they have any spell to counter it. I might cycle minions in the back. Maybe I'll use like a bandit in the back as well. Usually battle ram will only use at the bridge, personally. If you absolutely must, you can open with like an ice golem or a Barbarian Barrel, but I'll usually save those because they're great cards for countering pushes for really cheap. For card replacements, I'm just going to talk about a few cards that are great in Bridge Fam decks. As I mentioned, Lightning is really good if you want to go for another spell instead of Poison, but you do have the, you know, Poison and the Freeze, so it's already kind of an expensive three-spell deck. 
Um, Royal Ghost is great if you like him. Dark Prince is great in Bridge Pam decks. Inferno Dragon. Uh, Night Witch used to be, but not so much anymore because she's not super OP. Fireball is a great replacement for Lumber. Uh, excuse me, for Poison. Lumberjack was the next card that I was going to mention. Another great card in Bridge Pam decks. So all of these kind of fit their spots. Try to switch out things for the obvious replacements. Like you know, you're going to switch out the Poison for the Fireball because it's a spell for a spell, and you're going to switch out like say the bandit for the dark prince because it's a charge for a charge right all right guys that is it for tonight's video thank you so much for watching make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps my channel to grow if you have any questions or you know want to ask about any card replacements or anything like that or just want to say hey what's cracking mr burger make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy clash royale and clash royale deck showcase videos like this i do them all the time thanks so much for watching guys and have a good night.